What's up everybody, VHE Tutor here, and today I'm going to start a new series called Half-Life Modding in 2022. And I'm going to be doing this in a few parts. Um, part one is going to be all the tools you need to get going on modding. And then part two is going to be getting your mod set up on Steam and setting up Jack Camera for your mod. And then part three is going to be your first map. We're going to do lights. We're going to do some few entities. Um, compile guide. Going to go over all that. And then part four is going to be personalizing the mod to your uh, preferences and making it look like yours. So I am here at the whole Half-Life, which on the wiki, or yeah, the wiki. And this is where you're going to see all the resources that you might need uh, when you are on your modding journey. There's everything here from map editors to compile tools, decompile tools, texture sprites, modeling, programming viewers. Uh, and I'm going to go over the, the must-haves to get you started. So first off, obviously, uh, you need a map editor. So we're going to go with Jack. Um, I already have a tutorial on how to uh, install and configure Jackhammer Editor, so um, I'll link that into the description. Um, it's a good tool. Uh, it's got a bigger feature set than Valve Hammer Editor, and I do recommend it. Uh, so go check that out if you haven't already seen it. Um, and then the next thing that uh, I want, which is not found on the whole Half-Life, is Notepad++. Um, I really like Notepad++ because um, it just gives you like a better um, interface to edit files with. I use it for all my config files and kind of any other files that I'm editing in the Half-Life directory. Um, so like, you know, config files and then the liblist.gam, which we'll need for our mod. Um, I just like it. You get line numbers. Uh, it's a better Notepad. Um, so anyway, and then the next one is GCF scape. Now this one, um, you might not always use it, but it's good for getting into, um, the VPK files or the, um, GCF files, which I don't even know where those, uh, sit anymore. They used to sit out here. I don't think they do anymore. Um, you won't use that probably as much, but um, it's nice to have. Sometimes if you're looking through old WAN files, or um, sometimes if you're looking through texture files, um, it's nice to have. I've always um, liked to have it. And then the next thing you're going to want is the Half-Life Asset Manager, which is the um, latest and greatest uh, model viewer by Solo Killer. Um, and it allows you to, in 2022, on your Windows 10, your probably Windows 11 computers, going to let you look at your Half-Life models in an updated code base and with full support with no crashing, um, as in some of the older uh, Half-Life model viewers. And then finally, um, Half-Life Texture Tools, which is Half-Life Texture Tools which I like because you can create WAD files from it, you can view textures from it, and you can also uh, create sprites from it. So you can look at sprites in this uh, tool, um, and you can look at the WADs. So if we open halflife.wad, where is it? We can also see all the sprites here. I like to go click this button for the thumbnail view, let it load for a minute. There's a lot of uh, textures in here. But it lets you preview all the texture files um, in a WAD file, uh, which is nice. And it also allows you to, I think, add and create um, textures to an existing. Don't quote me on that, though. I haven't gotten that far yet. Um, but you can create new WAD files and at least look at what's in here. So say if you're downloading some texture files off of Game Banana or something, uh, you can preview it. And so, and then the other thing you're going to want to do is once you've downloaded and installed all those, um, you want to set those as your default 
programs for opening sprites and whatnot. So um, if you're in your Valve folder, your Half-Life Valve folder, go into Models, and then these probably don't have the icon that for the Half-Life uh, Asset Editor. So what you want to do is take any model file, um, right-click, and then Open With. And then you'll probably have to browse for it, but if you scroll down, you go to look for another app on this PC, and then you just go and find your program. Uh, so this one is in Program Files 86, Half-Life Asset Manager, bin, and then I would choose this. And then um, you want to make sure that you uh, check this box when you look for the other uh, program that way it will always use that so you're going to want to do that for your sprites as well and wad files open with and then select it and then wherever it got installed to might be in here yeah i, I installed it in here and so that's what you're going to want to do for your sprites and wad files and then you could also do that with a config right so config open with look for notepad plus plus always use to open config files um oh and then you'll probably want to do that with your um jack editor if you don't already have um it set so you could just take an rmf file um, or if you're starting brand new um it will automatically associate with uh, JMF files, which is for Jackhammer Editor. Um, and then if there's anything else you want to get into, there's tons of resources here on Whole Half-Life that you can go and look through. And guys, please leave a comment letting me know what you liked or didn't like. Um, please like and subscribe as this channel is growing and would be awesome to see it grow even further. So that is everything you need to start creating a mod in 2022. And I will see you in the next part.